Hello YouTube, my name is Marie and here on my channel I post K-drama related videos and today we are talking about the full season of Melancholia. Now this series is about a very talented teacher who re-inspires a genius student to pursue math. However, the pair become targets of the school's corrupt but powerful principal as they start to question some of the dishonest practices and preferential treatment that goes on within the school. Now on Vicky, this is categorized as a romance, but I really do think that this is a miscategorization. There is very little romance within this show. If you are looking for romance, you will be disappointed as I was. Now, do characters have feelings for each other? Yes, but if I were to give Melancholia some genre tags, romance would not even cross my mind. I would say it's more emotional, um, corruption, political, even coming of age would fit this show better than the romance tag does. So let's just go right into my cons first. I usually like to start with pros, but I want to get the rest of the salt I have out of my system. <laughs> Also, I do want to apologize if you hear any any voices or banging. All of my roommates are home and the walls are pretty thin. So the biggest con that I have after the first initial six episodes or so, or for any of those who have seen the show after that first time jump, is that the show is just boring. There were many moments when I scrolled my phone, when I stopped an episode midway to go do something else or even watch something else, and also I had very little interest to watch the next episode right after I finished the one I was currently watching, and that doesn't happen very often. If I have episodes collected, I do enjoy binging them, so if I don't want to keep watching, to me that's an indication that the show might not be working for me. I think that my disinterest in the show is really due to the lack of chemistry between our leads. Also, it took them way too long to fully start acting as allies. For the vast majority of the season, they are working independently towards the same goal. And I think the show as a whole would have benefited from seeing them work towards that goal together because the parts of the show that really worked for me was when they were doing mathematical equations together that had lots of great energy and good chemistry like that's where the good chemistry is so I would have loved to see that sort of scenario applied to them trying to take down the corrupt forces at play. And because they were apart for so long, when you do see them together, especially in those final episodes, it's not quite clicking for me. I don't quite buy the partnership aspect. They just seem too distant from each other for much of the season, and I do understand the circumstances why, but because of that distance, I also feel distance from them. Also, with the time jump, we are introduced to a whole different cast of characters who are the younger um, new generation of students to this corrupt school. There are two standouts here, the first one being um, the daughter of the principal herself, and this daughter is a very interesting character. She's got all of the fire that her mom has, but none of the cool strategy and like terrifying class. <laughs> and then the second standout is an orphan who is attending this very prestigious school due to a scholarship. And this orphan develops a relationship with our leads. Both now, I found both of them likable for different reasons, but I don't think they were given enough to do really. Like, no, that is not true. They were given enough to do. The problem is they just felt like accessories to the plot. They did not feel like real people to me. Then let's jump forward and talk about the ending. There's a flash forward of about three years and some aspects are nice. I am happy I stuck it out to watch the full thing and I remember when I was watching episode 15, I really did not want to watch episode 16, but I'm glad I did. There was a nice feeling of conclusion for the most part, but I do have a problem because some characters were given a happy ending when I strongly feel like they should have been shown to be still repenting for the actions that they did. A big part of the series is um, the concept of responsibility that we'll talk about in the pros, but specifically with some of these characters at the end, I don't feel like that 
theme was carried over very well because again they're given this happy ending when I don't think they deserved it. Okay I wasn't gonna talk about themes first in the pro section but I already mentioned them so we might as well get into it. There are quite a few themes in this show so um, responsibility, morality, and even uh parenting is all being discussed here and I do want to give the show credit where credit is due because I think all of these themes are very well developed and do hit home in several different beats throughout the series. The only thing that could make these themes stand out more or be more impactful is if you had a better connection to the characters than I did. The only character that I can say I truly loved from beginning to end is our villain. She's one of those really well-written characters where you love to hate her and you love to watch her spiral downwards. If I were to remake my most memorable K-drama villains list, she would definitely be included. Because she just oozed authority um, in the beginning especially, she was a character that had so much grace but like terrifyingly so and then as the show develops she really devolves and you see her mind really cracking under the pressure of trying to keep control over situations and it was so well done very well acted but my last pro for melancholia is the ost the songs were breathtaking and perfectly matched the bittersweet tone and melancholic name of the show they were just beautiful. Okay, so my overall rating is only going to be a 2.75 out of 5 stars. I am quite disappointed at the direction that this K-drama took, especially because I did thoroughly enjoy the introduction. I'd say the first four to six episodes were by far the best, and then it just slowly became less interesting to me, um, less emotionally impactful, and I just completely lost my um, personal connection to the characters the farther the season went on. I would only recommend Melancholia to a very specific type of viewer and that is one who really does enjoy watching um, the devolution of characters and great villains. If you're looking for that I would give Melancholia a chance. I think you might really enjoy it specifically for that principal character. So you guys let me know down below what you thought of the series and have a good day, have a good night, bye.